One day, a professor entered his classroom and asked his students to prepare for a surprise test. They all waited anxiously at their desk for the exam to begin. The professor handed out the exams with the text facing down, as usual. Once he handed them all out, he asked the students to turn over the papers. To everyone's surprise, there were no questions, just a black dot in the center of the paper. The professor, seeing the expression on everyone's faces, told them the following, I want you to write about what you see there. The students, confused, got started on the inexplicable task. At the end of the class, the professor took all the exams and started reading each one of them out loud in front of all the students. All of them, with no exception, defined the black dot, trying to explain its position on the center of the sheet. After all had been read, the classroom silent, the professor started to explain. I'm not going to grade you on this. I just wanted to give you something to think about. No one wrote about the white part of the paper. Everyone focused on the black dot. And the same thing happens in our lives. However, we insist on focusing only on the black dot, the health issues that bother us, the lack of money, the complicated relationship with a family member, the disappointment with a friend. The dark spots are very small when compared to everything we have in our lives, but they are the ones that pollute our minds. Take your eyes away from the black dots in your lives. Enjoy each one of your blessings, each moment that life gives you. Be happy and live a life filled with love. So, what we focus on in life matters. Where focus goes, energy flows. That means that all of our attention, our emotions, our thoughts go to that place. Now this can either be empowering or disempowering. It's a lesson on the power of our mind to dictate our lives ultimately on a daily basis. What we think and see is what we feel and be. It's a habit. currently going through a lot of changes in my life right now personally professionally in relationships career routines and I also live in a new country now which is in itself a big change and I've consciously made decisions in my life to get out of my comfort zones to embrace change because I knew it would force me to better myself but sometimes I get uncomfortable with those choices and uh, to leave my comfort zones and embrace new horizons I mean, it's only natural. I, I've never been one to have regrets or think too much about the past, but lately I've been thinking a lot of life choices and uh, I think we can drive ourselves mad with all the what ifs and the whys and the back and forth. And what you ultimately realize is, what's the point? You know, you can't change the past. You are where you are right now. Life is all around you. Time is a gift. So I've been working on myself, I've been journaling, I've been meditating, I've been taking time to just sit, be present. I've been trying to get back to a place of self-love and self-care. I don't think anybody is ever naturally comfortable with change. Our brains just aren't wired that way. It likes consistency, assurance, security. You know, they're hardwired to survive. So anything that could possibly threaten it, you know, won't get in the way. So it's, it's a matter of focus and I see now that the only choice we really have is to fully embrace our life and focus on the present. Embrace all our choices, both the good and the bad, learn from them and try to carve out a, a better future for ourselves. Figure out what ultimately is going to make us most happy, most fulfilled. Take concerted time to reflect and plan in those choices. Not living in the past or living in the future because living in the past will bring sadness while living in the future will bring anxiety. I'm always at my most happiest in life when I'm completely present. Either when I'm playing with my son uh, at the park or just taking in a nice sunset and just focusing on being not what I will become or what I was, learning to embrace myself completely and wholly in the space that I currently occupy in the universe. So I just wanted to speak to you guys today sincerely about this. I imagine many of you have similar feelings. Maybe you struggle with big life changes in your life right now. Maybe you're wondering how it's all gonna work out. And uh, you may feel stuck and you may feel frightened. And all I can say is that 
you're not alone. You know, the truth as well is that there may be no easy answer. Um, sometimes in life, things just take patience and time and loving ourselves and choosing to wake up and allow ourselves to be all right with whatever life offers us. However, I, I do also believe that it's an issue of attachment. You know, when we get attached to things, jobs, people, it becomes a part of our identity. So if you can get more comfortable with yourself and allow yourself to let go easier of those attachments, you can transform and you can shed that skin of the old you and just let it all fall away. And that's where I'm choosing to be right now. I'm reaffirming to myself that I'm strong, I'm intelligent, I'm worthy, and I am grateful for so much of my life. So rather than view change as a problem, view it as an opportunity to grow, to develop, to be empowered. Thank you guys for watching. I hope my story has helped you a bit on your own path. Please leave your comments and remember to hit the subscribe button to be notified for future videos. Wishing you all love and grace.